So, here we are. It is Wednesday. Mac OS Ventura dropped on Monday. I fix Macs. You want to know the question I've got a lot since Monday? Have you downloaded it? Have you installed it? Nope. Greetings, Dave here. DCPFX. Yeah, Mac OS 10, or I guess it's Mac OS 13. It's been 10 point something for a long time. 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, and we got to 10, 13. And then I think we got to 11. And then um, currently on this machine I'm running right now, I'm running Mac OS 12, which is Monterey. Well, Ventura has hit. Ventura, I've talked about. I made this cool clip to use on my display so that I can take my phone and I can pop it in and then I can use it as a, not in that way, as another webcam because Apple is admitting that their webcams and their machines aren't very good. Now, I don't have a machine with a webcam built into it, so I've been using different webcams. As you can see here, I have, well, my Sony ZV-1. I have a Brio. I have a stream cam. I have a 930 I use for overhead, which I'm not using right now. Um, anyway, it's a cool feature. I, um, a proviso, I have installed it in the office because that machine does web searches and email and I'll get that working eventually. The reason I haven't gone to Ventura on my main production machine is I'm here making three videos a week for you. That's four, that's three. There we go. And I'm doing a stream on Friday. Hey, if you're going to be in, in the area, you're going to be online, 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. EST, I'll DCPFX stream, just sort of talking about this, that, and the other. Uh, I got a few ideas, things to talk about, but uh, I always am threatening to do a stream, so I'm doing a stream. So you can actually get notifications, and I'll, it'll tell you when I go live. But it's plan is 3 p.m. Anyway, I'm doing all these videos, and, well, I've got Final Cut on my work machine at the office as well. I thought, you know what? I don't use it that often for doing Final Cut stuff. I do some shorts on it. I don't really use it that much. Let's put Venture on here. So I have something as a basis of comparison. And then let's see what happens. Final Cut application not responding. The last thing I want to do is install this on my main work machine and I'm not able to do videos. I have to render them all down on my iPad using you know, LumaFusion or something like that. I don't know. So for my main work machine, I never do this. I'm never an early adopter. I will wait until 13.1 or they fix it. They go, oh, geez, we didn't think about that. Huh? Well, maybe we better update Final Cut to make it work with this. Ah, we've had months to do this. Why is it not working? So that is my take on it. I haven't made the leap yet because I just don't have the time. It's much like when I deal with these things at home. I'll uh, I'll go to work and I'll work all day on people's machines. And I get home, the kids go, Dad, the Wi-Fi is not working or I can't do this. My computer's doing something. Can you? They don't do it often because they're, they're pretty good. But a lot of the times my kids just leave it to me because I've been doing this forever. I've always been the one to support their tech for them. So it just makes sense that, well, Dad will deal with it when he gets home. And then with the parade of students we've had, I've had to learn... Chinese, sort of, because I'm doing Japanese. I'm almost to 1,500 days. Um, I've had to learn some German. I've had to learn some Spanish now because, you know, they have their machines and they have them set their localized. So I can like, okay, I remember some French. It's really the Spanish is close. Ah, that's what I need to do. Okay, done. You know, adding printers, resetting networks, things like that. So I do that all the time. I said that because... Last thing I want to do is after fixing people's machines and my kids' machines, everything all day long, is so I want to come home and fix my machine. No, that's the, what's sort of the main reason I moved away from my old 15 year old Mac Pro Tower, who also always giving me headaches, to my uh, M1 Mini because I wanted for the first time in forever to be current. So I had all the things I needed right off the bat so I could just do it and not have to worry about it. So that's my take on it right now. If you are the adventuresome sort and you want to go give it a try, knock yourself out. It's like a 10 gigabyte download. Now, I did find when I did it today, you know, uh, which was, as far as you're concerned, yesterday. So, I did the day after it was released. It took a while to download it. It released in my area. 
1 p.m. on Monday, and I guess there was a lot of runs on it, and today when I downloaded, it took me about an hour, and an hour for 10 gig on my connection, that's not quite right, so obviously it's been busy, it's been busy, and they're pulling things down, so... Yeah, take some time. And I'm going to do this. I'll tell you this right now. I always recommend this. People always come to me. So why do you tell me this? I tell you this every time. If you are a Mac OS user and you're running Monterey, you said, you know what? I'm going to take the leap to the newest version. I'm going to put in Ventura. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to love it. If you don't have one, get a hard drive. Attach it to your computer. Go to system preferences. Go to time machine. Choose that drive. Let it do a full backup. Depending how full you are, it could be a couple hours, but let it do the full backup. Download the installer, install it, it restarts, it boots up. Welcome to Ventura. Run a backup. The reason for this is that I've been doing this, like I say, for 19 years. Um, since Mac OS X came out around that time, um, yeah, the number of people who come to me the new one came out. I don't like it. Can you go back? Do you have a backup? No. I can. Do you have $400? Why? It could take me four to five hours to undo everything. So the reason I tell you that is if you have a full backup and you install it and you hate it, boot up the recovery drive, reinstall from your backup, you're back to where you were. The reason I tell you to do backup after it's installed is before you start putting things in, start adding things into the system. By having a backup of the fresh installed system, you have something to work from. So you go, oh crap, I installed this. It's not compatible. What do I do now? You have a backup to roll back from. So that's been always my mantra. Backup, update, backup. And then you've got everything right there. So hopefully that helps for you Mac people out there who thought about giving it a try. And if you, like I say, if you have a machine that you don't care about, like my work machine, I say, I don't really care much about it. It runs. If I have a few hiccups in mail, I'll hop into my iPad or whatever. I'll get them fixed and get them working. But it's not as mission critical, like I say, as the machine I have here because I do all my videos on it. So if you have a machine that you're okay with and you can zero it if you have to, yeah, give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. I have just not been a fan. It's been like this since around, well, even before Steve died, uh, we're all beta testers for Apple and various companies. Oh, we were all at this update. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, crap. Oh, well. So we're beta testing their software for them. They've done all they can, but they can't figure out all 1 billion installs out there. So, you know, they have to sort of hedge their batch. And much like why Windows is such a pain when they do an update because there's so many different configurations. With Apple, they have one config, they know the machines out there and they can work for it. But even then they don't know the various softwares available. So give it a whirl, give it a try, see what happens, but yeah, be prepared. You will run into some hiccups. I'm sure you will. I know what I'm doing and I've had a couple of hiccups, so I'll figure this out. So that is the video for today. I hope everyone's had a great day. I hope this has helped. If you're thinking about making that big leap, hope this helps get you get your head around it and what you need to do. But there you go. That's a little primer on that. Speaking from someone who's going to have to deal with all these headaches for the next little while as people go, oh, I install it. I don't like it. Okay, yeah, I can roll you back. Sure, let's do this. Let's let's make this happen. It says not supported. I installed it anyway. It doesn't work. Well, she just made it install it, but now that you did, you've closed your system. So what can you do? So, hey, everyone have a great day. Talk to you all. Later. <laughs>